Hey everyone, we're going to do a quick video on how to design a keyboard from concept to completion. So, first place we're going to start is on keyboard-layout-editor.com. This is the place to be if you want to be whoever you want to be. I don't know. Uh, you can, from here, start with some preset designs. Something like this and start messing with it start doing different things moving things around uh, the you definitely need to know the keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts will help you navigate everything much faster it's it makes everything easier uh, especially when you need to make slight alterations uh, keep in mind when you click on any of these keys all of this stuff pops up in here and it has lots of detail and coloring and width and height and position and you can tweak some of these things but for our purposes what we're basically doing is building a uh, a layout so that we can take this design and run it through a laser cutter or a water jet cutter or anything like that <clears throat> so technically you know the the legend on the key doesn't really matter that much we're just looking at position right now so Let's say we wanted to make a 60%, but a 60% with a twist. Um, how about one of these? So I, I can drag across these keys, and uh, here's a pro tip. If you drag off of the screen, it gets weird. So try to stay within... Actually, they might have fixed that. Maybe it's this browser version. Anyways, you can drag and select the keys. You have to select the entire key. So we'll take those and cut them, and we'll take these numpad layer. Let's uh, let's let's hold on to these actually. Get rid of this numpad. Yeah, here we go. See, um, can't extend to those keys. Uh, that was the weirdness I was talking about. I might have to extend the window. Hang on. Wow. There we go. Sorry, that's off screen. But I'm actually gonna hit delete right now. There we go. Uh, so keystrokes, those keyboard shortcuts. Let's get to a number layer. So if I've got arrow keys, we can move these suckers around all we want. Uh, the options are set to move step 0.25. So that's 0.25 units. It's a key unit. One size key is one size unit. So when I hit it four times, one, two, three, four, it's moved completely over one key size. So that'll help you kind of step around. And in the beginning process, I'd highly recommend keeping everything in the the 0.25s. Don't don't get into the minute adjustments Oops. until we uh, until you really start getting things kind of fleshed out. So what I'd like to do is make a uh, a notorious ZXCV uh, straight version. No uh, no vertical staggering or horizontal staggering. So what we're going to do is take this ASDF row, middle row, and align it with the top row. And uh, if you notice to move these to the left, I had to move these to the right. You know, potato, tomato, you can't move past the left. But what's important is that you're just, um, you give yourself room to work with. But note that when you're done, you want your final piece to be all the way in the left and all the way in the top. So we might give ourselves a little bit of room to play around here first. So we've got uh, these keys. So we've adjusted it so we've got a good layout here. Oh, but we want our number row the same. There we go. And this is going to be like a, a cheater's uh, ortholinear kind of. I don't like that phrase, but whatever. Uh, grid layout. So the cheaters is that these uh, XC, ZXCV... Are, are hard to learn. That's a muscle memory. It's it's pretty far over when you consider that these are also over like one extra quarter. So that's one quarter over two more. Um, so it's like three quarters over. Uh, but if we leave it here, then we can kind of get away with it. We're cheating a little bit. 
that's that's fine. But all of this stuff is uneven. We've got uneven spaces here. So what we're going to do is resize keys, and we can do that by holding shift and those arrow keys. So left, right, left, right. Hold shift, left, right, left, right. So we're going to reduce this tab to nothing, and reduce this caps lock, and we're uh, going to go ahead and even though I told you it doesn't matter, control or Kataro if you if you don't mind, and just move all of this stuff over. There we are. Oh, there we go. So here's our first non-standard key. Uh, let me undo. Get back to our original size. There we go. So what we're looking for is a size. There we go. Whatever this size is. So it's bigger than a control. Whee! Ah, here we go. So it's actually this 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 shift, this size key, is the same size as the backslash and pipe. Uh, now I happen to know that the backslash and pipe is the exact same size as the original tab was. So know that this key that you're going to make, that you've reduced the size for, the key cap you can use is either a tab or a backslash. And in this case, we're probably going to reduce this backslash down to a single U, so that's just fine. So we'll use that backslash over here. Or you could use that tab, that original tab size right here. So we're not, we haven't lost anything yet. Uh, backspace, we can reduce down. Or, you know what, let's do something interesting. Undo, we'll leave that backspace the original size. I'll try to shove these guys in here. Is that the same size? No, nope, not quite. But we can move that over a little bit. That's tempting. No. Either way, let's reduce this backspace size down and see if this matches any other keys. Oh, that's the same size as a control. Okay, so you can use an, an alt win or a menu key for key cap for this. So we have a we're still using standard key sizes. So we're not gonna have a problem there. <clears throat> this guy, however. Yeah, I guess your backslash can be one of these keys. You don't have to read the legend, you'll live with it, don't worry. It's fine. Everyone will survive. Enter key and shift key. Kinda up to you. Uh, I kinda don't like having the ship the right shift here. It's only really a problem for me for this percent. I need to do shift and percent. But with this vertical, uh, without any kind of vertical staggering, the shift and the five are pretty close together. So it's not a huge deal to eat phone home. You know, you just don't want to stretch too much. Uh, but let's try to go ahead and cram some stuff in here. This is delete, I think. Yep. Delete, delete. Let's move these guys over. Yeah, that kind of kills the shift key. So, to be done with it. Bye, right shift. No one might do anyway. Um, hmm. Some space here. Be aligned with this. Let's just stick it out a little bit. Nah, who cares? This is just an example. Anyways, um, so let's move these over so we've got handy dandy little arrow keys kind of floating out there. But we've got a full size enter and backspace is a little bit longer than normal, which gives you a little bit of tactility, which is fine. Um, yeah, you're, you're gonna you're gonna kill me on this space bar thing, but these controls move those to the right. We're going to shift, reduce this space bar, and uh, we've already used the enter key, but oh. what I normally do, I should have probably started with this, is uh, let's open a new tab here, high quality dead air, um, I take these key sizes, anything that's not a single U, and uh, break them off. So all these are single U. All these are single U. Uh, and those are two U's and stuff. But you set them aside. Uh, 
I set them aside so that I can go back and see what keys fit. So I've got a copy of that control, so I don't really need these. But then, that means when I reduce this shift key down to nothing, I can still have a sizing to be able to come in and say, alright, is this shift, how big is this shift? How many U's is it? So it looks like it's two and a quarter. So then I can, I can work with that. So that's left shift. Flip back to the original. And let's go two and a quarter. So there's a two and a quarter size key. So that'll be a left shift key if we need it to be. Um, and then, let's see, what was original size backspace? That's the size as this, same size as this. Oh, that's a controller and escape. And uh, original size right space is uh, two and three quarter U. So, take this, copy, come on, copy, paste, there we go, and let's say two and half, two and three quarter, two and three quarter U, that, and uh, there's probably room for another one of these, just part one, don't worry, stick with me. There we go. So we've got everything. This bottom row is pretty standard, except for not having a right shift. But now we've got arrow keys, and everything fits in a, a rectangular area. Uh, this is the same size as a tab key, or rather, this is the same size as an alt key or a control key. Uh, we actually might be short one or two of those. I don't know, wait, it's menu and then control. So yeah, we've got two of those spare. And uh, this is the same size as this key or tab key, so that's our left shift, and I've got two, two space bars, and we've preserved arrow keys at the mere cost of right shift. Ta-da! So, like I said, I'm going to move it up and to the left. This is just a, a quickie design, and I've got a couple minutes left. So, from here, we can tweak lots of things with swills. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do just for fun. Take this, and now I'm going to hold control and arrow keys. Oh, what's that thingy I'm moving around? That's the rotation. Yay! Very exciting stuff. Once I move the rotation point, I can hit page up or page down, and it'll step it in that direction. Now keep in mind, once you rotate, oops, once you rotate, your up and down become relative. To that position. So, yeah, figure that out. These guys, their control hasn't been moved, or their rotation point hasn't been moved. So I click over here and it shows the rotation point, and over here it shows that rotation point. So it looks like I want to move it down and over a little bit. There we go. Now it's the same. My watch beeping. We're almost out of time. So now I'm going to rotate again. Mm -hmm. Move it all over. So it fits inside here. There we go. And again, the motion get the math gets a little weird here. So if you're not like perfectly mating up, it doesn't quite work. Uh, but we can adjust for that and seem like we get a good match right between here. So just because we're messing around and I wanted to show you angles, that's that that'll be the layout. Uh, once you're logged in on GitHub, you can save this. As oh, it saves it as whatever the keyboard property is. So, uh, oops, <laughs> I'm on a different layer. I'm on a different layer, bro. Fight me. Um, cheaters grid. Out of time. DXCV love. Boom! I hit save, and we will pick up the remainder of this video in like 10 seconds or something. I don't know. Still got a few seconds.